Good morning and happy Coffee Cava Wednesday. This is in fact Coffee Cava Wednesday and I'm Cindy Simmons. I will be your host today as I am for today and every Coffee Cava Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, May 16th, episode 109. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. I um, have to say a special good morning to Racetrack. I'm going to talk about what's happening right here. <laughs> yes, we are. We're going to talk about that and uh, a little more on today's show. So this is Coffee Comma Wednesday. If this is your first time joining me, good morning. Um, I like coffee and I like to talk and hang out with my friends. And you guys are my friends and hopefully you're having a cup of coffee, cup of tea, soda, water, smoothie, you know, whatever hot chocolate that you'd be drinking nice and early on this Wednesday morning. We talk about three topics today, so we'll be here for about 15, 20 minutes. Most of the time, it's really happy, positive, silly stuff because, I don't know, life can be pretty stressful. So why not just take a little mid-morning break in the middle of your Wednesday, or in the morning of your Wednesday, um, and just take a break with me. So there you go, a little bit about me. Um, I am originally from Los Angeles, California, born and raised in North Hollywood. Um, I've lived in Nashville, I've lived in Atlanta, and now our family is in Orlando, Florida, and we love it here. Um, except what is with the weather on this side? My goodness gracious. I mean, rain, storms, craziness. It has been raining every day this week, and that is not fun. Um, hope everyone had a Mother's Day um, celebration good time if you are a mom or you're celebrating your mom because somehow everyone has a mom attached. We had a good Mother's Day. My husband made me breakfast in bed, which is my favorite thing because my younger brother Michael and I would get together with my dad and we would do that for my mom and Jane every Mother's Day and I kind of loved it. Um, so I, I told my husband many years ago, I'm like, I really just want one thing for Mother's Day, breakfast in bed. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't even have to be good. Although thankfully, like my dad, my husband is a good cook. So yeah, that's all I really want, like a homemade card. So did that, celebrated my mom. We went out to dinner. My husband took my mom and me out to a fun, like comedy magician dinner show on Sunday night. So that was fun. Um, things that are happening. Are you guys ready for the royal wedding on Saturday? Or do you not care? I'm kind of, um, eh, you know, I get up early anyway on the weekends. I'm an early morning person. So I'll probably be up, and since I'll be up, I'll turn it on. I mean, not that I have anything against the royals. I mean, I was all about Princess Diana's wedding, um, and Princess Kate, I liked watching hers, but I'm not like, oh, I gotta watch this. And I think Meghan is beautiful, and Prince Harry, duh, he's a ginger, hot. So yeah, I mean, I'll probably watch it. I'm not gonna have like my fascinator and my daybreak dress on um, for it or anything. I will be in my PJs with a cup of coffee. <laughs> All right, so welcome to Coffee Cava, Coffee Cava Wednesday. Let's get started. All right, this has been sweeping the internet. I mean, viral. I'm gonna play something for you. You tell me what you hear. Okay, you ready? Just tell me what you hear. Lori. 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 What do you hear? Lori. Which word? I'm gonna give you a minute to listen. Do you hear Laurel? Or do you hear Yanny? Okay, this is the craziest thing. This was on Ellen DeGeneres yesterday, it's been all over the news this morning. Either you hear Laurel or Yanny, or you hear something entirely different. I played it for my mom this morning and she didn't hear either of them. I can't remember what the word she was, but she heard, but she heard something different. Interesting, my five-year-old heard Yanny, my 12-year-old heard Laurel, I heard Laurel, but many people hear Yanny. It's crazy, it's not like Yanny and Fanny. I mean, they're totally two separate words. Laurel or Yanny. I'm gonna play it one more time here. Laurel or Yanny? Lori. Lori. Laurel? Lori. Or Yanny? Lori. That is just crazy to me that two people can hear totally two different things. And it's funny because 
in your same house, just like mine. I mean, my mom heard something different, my five-year-old heard something, my 12-year-old you know, heard something different. It's so crazy, and then it's funny to watch people going, I heard Yanny, Yanny, there's nothing. How can you even hear Laurel? And then you have the people going, uh, it's Laurel. How do you even hear Yanny? Yanny sounds nothing like Laurel. Laurel sounds nothing like Yanny. So I see that you guys are weighing in, and from what I can see here on Coffee Cava Wednesday, it seems sort of split. Some of you hear Yanny, and some of you hear Laurel. So they said what I heard. They're still doing scientific research on this, but my understanding is that the word is actually Laurel, but they said depending on which device you hear it. And here's the funny thing. You might listen to it later today, say you're on Facebook or you know whatever, watching the news. You might hear it again and go, what, what happened? Because I heard Laurel all morning long. I played it again, I walked away, and my kids were listening to it again because they were so fascinated. And all of a sudden I started hearing Yanny. But I walked back over to my computer where I was playing it and it was back to Laurel. And now I'm still just hearing Laurel again. Isn't that crazy how two people can hear this, like this one sound, but it's two different words. And like I said, it's not like it's Fanny and Manny. It's Yanny and Laurel. <laughs> so boggles the mind. Mind blown. I have no idea what that is. But I knew we had to talk about it because it was super interesting to me. All right, number two on Coffee Combo Wednesday. Bear with me because it's kind of a long story, but I'm gonna really try to do the not the extended remix version of it. I'm going to shorten it because I want to tell you about something that happened a couple weeks ago with my 12 year old daughter. It was really with a woman. Okay, so here's the brief version of. Well, it's not gonna be brief because it's. It's Coffee Cava Wednesday and nothing is brief on <laughs> Coffee Cava Wednesday. All right, so my 12 year old daughter is in sixth grade. She has had friends since the beginning of the school year. In the last month, she became really good friends with this girl, we'll call her Sarah. That, I just made that up, I don't even know why. We'll call her Sarah because, you know, okay. She starts coming, so she and Sarah now have become best friends for the last month. Well, a little while ago, she comes home from school and she's crying and it's every day. And I said, what, what is going on? And she says, well, a couple of girls came up to her at school and said, hey, are you okay? And my daughter is like, yeah, why? She goes, well, Sarah told us that her mom said she's not allowed to play with you anymore because her mom thinks you're obsessed with her. What? And that was the reaction I wanted to have. What? Are you kidding me? What in the world? So I'm like, okay. The first things, the first thing that I think people do, it's human nature, is to just to react like, what? How dare you say that about my child? Ah, mama bear. Ah. And our kids aren't perfect. Mine are definitely not perfect. Heck, I am definitely not perfect. So I thought, all right, let's figure out what's happening here. I knew that they were both really into each other. I got on her iPad, I did some research, we had that relationship where I said, hey, anytime I want to get on your iPad to read text messages, she has one app called Musical.ly, anytime I can get on it because I'm the mom and that's our rule. She agrees. Or she could have moved out. So I see text exchanges between them and they really seem like, you know, when you meet someone new and you get all excited. I mean, come on, you know, you meet someone now in 20s, 30s, 40s, you still, it's exciting to meet someone new that you click with. So that's what it seemed like to me. They were FaceTiming each other and texting and, and whatever. And it's like, you get a new pair of shoes and you get all excited. Like, oh, I got these at Target for $10.99. <laughs> and you're all excited. So this goes on for about a week and the girl just stops talking to her. Like Sarah stops talking to her and now my child is all upset. And normally, whenever there's been whatever. I try to just stay up because I was 12 too and my mom didn't get involved in my shenanigans unless it was something that was like hardcore. But my mom and I both talked about this and I didn't feel like when I was that age or when my mom was that age, there was that like weird middle school drama. So we talk about it for days and I said, look, maybe you just need to take a step back from her and you guys know, just chill, like just chill and talk to her about it and let's get to the bottom of it. So 
she asks her, because I always try to teach her, don't go talk to 10 people about it. Go to the horse's mouth, because there's nothing worse when you're having a problem with a, a woman or a friend or whoever, any relationship, and you go and you talk to 10 more people about it instead of just going to the horse's mouth. Then you just build anger and bitterness and resentment. Just go to the person, as awkward as it is, and just say, hey, did this happen? Okay, so she asks her, hey, Sarah, um, is it true what your mom said about me and we can't hang out? Yeah. What? What? You watch your mouth. So Mama Bear started to come out. <laughs> So you parents are like, Bleh. so we're at an after school event and I see Sarah and I assume to be, it is her mother walking with her. And I thought, well, I have to take my own advice. I'm going to go directly to the mom and I'm going to talk to her because we're adults and we should be able to talk about things. So I go up, I introduce myself. I said, oh, are you Sarah's mom? I'm Cindy. I'm Lily's mom. I'm like, can I talk to you about something? It's so awkward. And I, unless really provoked and not just a rah, kind of person. I mean, I, ha I don't even know the last time that I've been like rah, at someone, except a time like many Coffee Combo Wednesdays ago when I told you someone flipped me off and I was like, ah, rah. okay, and maybe then. But I'm just not normally, because I believe in kindness. You guys, every week I always say, spread kindness like Nutella. I'm all about being kind and giving people compliments. But yeah, Mama Bear, Mama Bear was coming out a little, but I, again, I had to take my own advice. So I say to her, can I just talk to you about something? Of course, what's going on? I said, look, I don't want to get involved in our kids. And clearly by me saying that and me standing here, I am. I'm getting involved with our kids in their life. However, my daughter's come home every day this week and she's been really upset. And she said, your daughter... Sarah said that you said that they're not allowed to hang out anymore because my daughter is obsessed with Sarah. But she's like, what? I, I didn't, I wouldn't, no, I did not say that. I said, well, I told my daughter, which I did. I said, pretty sure a good mommy would not say that about another person's child. Even if there was some feeling about that, I would think you wouldn't use the word, you can't hang out with her anymore. She's obsessed with you. Like that just seems really nasty. I didn't say all that, but I was very kind. I was very polite. I said, I know it's so embarrassing that I'm even asking you this. I said, but these two girls came up to her and I try to teach my girl, don't believe rumors. And she goes, I really, I did not say that. She has been grounded and maybe they haven't been able to talk on the phone or FaceTime, but she's been grounded this past week. And I said, yeah, it's not that. Like she's not talking to her at school, which is fine, but it's that these girls came up to her and she's like, well, I definitely did not say that. I said, well, I always teach my daughter to go ask the person, ask, go to the horse's mouth, so to speak. She did, she went to your daughter, Sarah, and said, hey, Sarah, did your mom say I can't hang out with you anymore because I'm obsessed with you? And your daughter said, yes. And she's like, oh my goodness. Now, she had also been invited to Sarah's birthday party this weekend. Well, I guess this, I got the invite maybe a month and a half ago and I had RSVP'd yes. Well, when this was all going on, I said to Lily, look, until we get to the bottom of this and no matter what, there's obviously something going on between the two of you. I just think it's a good idea that you don't go to her house for a birthday party. Just take a step back, take a deep breath and there'll be other parties and, and whatever. So the mom says to me, I was a little surprised. I saw on the invitation, on the evite, that you had changed the RSVP to no. And I asked my daughter, Sarah, why would Lily not be coming to the birthday party anymore? She goes, I don't know, mom. So she said, I just thought that maybe there was another birthday party conflict that she had to go to. I said, yeah, no. I said, Lily felt really uncomfortable and said, well, mom, I don't know that I even wanna to go to the birthday party because if her mom said that about me, that would be awkward for me to be there. and That's embarrassing. And I said, Lily, we, we need to find out. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's find out the truth. There has to be a misunderstanding. I can't imagine another mom would say this about another you know, child. And she said, oh my goodness gracious, I, I would not say that. I did not say that. And then Lily was, I don't know, maybe 10 feet away. And I called for Lily to come over. And now the daughter's in the car. The daughter did not come out. And my daughter's over here. I have her introduce herself to the mom. And the mom says, oh, 
honey, I hope you change your mind. I did not say that. Please, you know, please come to our house. You are welcome to come to the party. And Lily said, okay, thank you. Okay, that's pretty much most of the story there. Lily went back to school. They really haven't been talking. The girl has said nothing to her. So Sarah has not apologized. Sarah did not say, hey, there's been nothing said. So I decide against what I usually say is don't talk to other people about it. I talk to a friend of mine about it and I tell her the whole story and she says she thinks the mom's not telling the truth. And that just didn't occur to me because I just couldn't even imagine that I would like lie to someone's face like that. But yeah, I guess it's possible. So the reason I'm telling you this story, well, it's for several reasons because I guess I wanted to say it out loud because I want to remind myself and others that's what we should do. Talk to the person first. Then the other reason I wanted to tell you, what do you think? Do you think that the mom is telling the truth? I know no one will ever know and we're not going to be able to get an answer, but in your opinion from the story and you getting the gist of the story, what do you think? Because my friend said she was in a similar situation. She said to her daughter, hey, maybe we don't hang out with her anymore because the girl, I, that's a whole other story. But when in her head she said, if the mom had ever asked her, she would probably say no. She goes, I know it's awful and I know it's terrible, but I, I would probably say to the mom, no, I, I didn't tell my daughter not to hang out with your daughter. She goes, so she might not be telling you the truth. I was like, I mean, that makes me feel super naive. And I know you guys like, you know, I always say, hey, rainbows and unicorns and cupcakes and kindness and positivity. And I realize that's not the world, but man, I gave this woman an opportunity to tell the truth. And if she's not telling the truth, that's super, you know, I don't know. Regardless, my daughter's not hanging out with her. I just said, I didn't use the words, don't hang out with her ever again, because I just wouldn't, unless she was causing massive harm to my daughter. But I do think, regardless of the mom's telling the truth or not, just don't go to other kids and, and talk about what's happening. Go to the person and say, I'm not allowed to hang out with you. I'm so sorry, my mom said we can't hang out. You don't say anything else. Just say that, whatever. But you don't need to go and tell other girls in school, why are girls like that? Why? Our girls like that. So the girl is, uh, or the girl, my daughter's not going to the party. I'm not changing my mind. She's not going to the party. And this whole week, she has not been really hanging out with the girl. She hangs out with mutual friends that they have. But I just encouraged her and said, look, I didn't tell her that maybe the mom is lying. I really didn't want to put that on her. I, in, in my opinion, it just needs to go away now until I just get your opinion. <laughs> so I just said, look, take a little break. Be kind, be cordial. We're all made in God's image, so you don't need to be ugly or nasty to her, but just back off a little. Maybe you guys just take a little break. And, you know, you have like five days left of school, really. Like their last day of school is next week. Okay, so comment below. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Is this what middle school is like? Good gravy. I mean, seriously. Huh. Anyway, okay, Copy Combo Wednesday, topic number three. Get up off of my food, man. I have a question for you. Do you ever feel the need to comment on what someone else is eating? I ask this for several, several reasons because recently a friend of mine was telling me she, how she has this coworker and the coworker is constantly making comments about what she eats, whether it's what she brings to work and eat, if they're out to lunch together, if she's out with her husband and she talks about where they had dinner, he makes comments all the time about her eating. And then it really, like, it made my brain go, chuk, chuk, chuk. Ah, yes, that does sound familiar to me. Because I too worked with someone many, 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 many years ago, and they used to do the same thing to me. He would comment on my food, whether it was, uh, oh, are you supposed to be eating that? Or, oh, is that all you're gonna be eating? Oh, are you eating that? It was the oddest thing. 
And I told him repeatedly, you need to get a hobby. I said it very nicely. You need to get a hobby because you're obsessed with my eating. Cut it out. It's weird. But he kept doing it. And I could never figure out why, nor did I truly care because we weren't that great of friends. But I found it odd. And I just don't feel the need to comment on anyone's eating except my mother's. <laughs> and she's watching going, wait, you talk about my food. But mom and I talked about this, Mama Jane and I, we talked about this. In family, it's different because I am always encouraging my mom to exercise and eat. And my mom's like a rock star because she's been walking. And so I always, um, you know, want the best for my mom as she does for me. Mommy and daughters are different. Would you ever make a about your friends eating habits i mean unless you were truly truly worried that maybe there was some sort of eating situation you know uh like an eating disorder then by all means absolutely but that wasn't the case and it's not the case in my friend's situation and i find it odd why is it anyone else's business is exactly what my mama jane says and that's exactly how i feel why is it anyone else's business what you're eating it's so it's like food shaming and when did that become a thing when did food shaming become a thing you want to eat ice cream for breakfast fantastic you want to have a smoothie for dinner fantastic no one should have a say so i mean unless you're the parent and you're helping your child that's different i comment about my kids food all the time because i make it so i can but I never say anything about what my friends eat. It's so weird to me. Weird. Boo, boo, boo. Food police. No one asked for you. So that brings me to, um, oh, hold on, because I do want to play something for you. That brings me to the end of the show in Coffee Combo Wednesday. And why am I talking about this? Because racetrack, and you guys know how I feel about racetrack coffee, right? To prove my point that I am an adult and I don't need the food police, I got racetrack pizza for breakfast today. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm. I know it's so rude to talk with food in your mouth. Mm. Mm. Why? Why is pizza so good for breakfast? Why? <laughs> and I got coffee. Because if I want to have pizza and I want to have coffee for breakfast, guess what I can? Because I'm a grown up. I'm a grown up. Just like on the uh, anniversary of the 100th episode, I have cake because I can, because I'm a grown up. But guess what? Yesterday, I had a smoothie for lunch and I had some leftover smoothie for a snack yesterday afternoon. That is what you get to do when you're a grown up. You eat whatever you want. It's all about balance and it shouldn't be anyone else's say so what you have for breakfast or lunch or dinner or dessert. And if you want to have pizza and coffee for breakfast, you know what I always say, you do you. Let's say it together. You do you. Okay. You guys, I am just like all worked up today. Okay, so before I get out of here, Racetrack is sponsoring today's Coffee Combo Wednesday. And because they are, they are hooking you guys up with two $25 gift cards. One for you, one for you. So how do you win? If this is your first time watching Coffee Combo Wednesday, you just comment Racetrack and then tell me which city you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. If you've been here every Coffee Combo Wednesday, or most of them, or you come every week, well, then you already know. Comment Racetrack, ding, um, and then we'll draw two random winners before next week's show, and you will each get a $25 Racetrack gift card. So you can check out their pizza and have it for breakfast. I'm having pepperoni today, but they have meat lovers, cheese, and then for a limited time, they have buffalo chicken pizza, which is my um, but I've been getting that so much lately, I just <laughs> decided to get pepperoni. <laughs> so try their new pizza. It's pizza by the slice and their big old slices, as you saw. Or get whatever you want. Get their crazy good coffee, because that's what I do when I go to racetrack. 
Comment Racetrack and the city you're watching, and we will pick two winners this week, thanks to Racetrack, and we will hook you up with a $25 gift card to Racetrack. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? And a big fat cheers to you. Cheers. Okay, Coffee Combo Wednesday. If you've missed any episodes of Coffee Combo Wednesday, head over to cindysimmons.com, and you can link to YouTube there. Also, if you haven't seen my kids do Lululand on YouTube, that's super fun in my opinion. Um, but that is Coffee Coffee Wednesday, and you can follow me on all of the socials there at cindysimmons.com. And one more time before I let you go here. Laurel. 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 Do you hear Laurel? Laurel. Or Yanny? Laurel. 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 Or Yanny? <laughs> Laurel or Yaddy, comment below. Spread kindness like Nutella. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me this week on Coffee Cup of Wednesday, episode 109 for Wednesday, May 16th. Have an awesome day. Spread kindness like Nutella, and I will see you guys next week. And a big fat cheers.